Hello Battlefield and fellow Platoon members and fellow YouTubers. Moby here, bringing you another Blue Plate Special, number two. Uh, let me get into this real quick. On, I believe this is Hammerhead, or is it Whiteout? Ah, uh, one of those two. On this boat, there's another icicle. So I just found out this week that... Um, oh yeah. There's this, uh, you know, obviously in the other cold frozen map, there is another icicle, which I didn't, I wasn't aware of. So, um, I know a friend of mine, I made mention of it, he wasn't aware of it either, so that was news to him. I know it's an Xbox achievement, not a battlefield or, uh, you know, battle log achievement or anything like that, but it's an Xbox achievement to stab someone with the icicle. So, it's on the 360, it's at the tip of Bravo across the frozen lake. Kind of on the side of one of those ships. There's a few of them, but obviously that one is kind of perpendicular to the island. So, anyway, uh, I'm chopping up a lot of videos. I don't have any one. You know, I might go 34 and 6 or something like that. Ah, uh, that guy just dove just in time. Um, you know, have a good round of 30 and and 5 or something like that. You know, and I've had a couple of them lately. Um, doing pretty well, but nothing totally fantastic that it's just not, you know, there's no stellar uh, events or anything. No, it's kind of kills here, kills there, spawn in, some claymores, and this, this and that and the other thing. So, anyway, um, you know, some of those maps, some of those gameplays, I haven't really posted. Um, I've had a couple of good rounds, and maybe I'll take a better one where there's some more action and something like that. And even if I go 20 and 5 and the round's fairly quick, maybe I'll save the whole thing and um, and uh, do a, just do an interview or something like that over it. But, um, anyway, so this dude, the Night Fox, I think he's... Sounded British or Australian or something like that, but uh, I jumped in a game with him and uh, driving by these two guys. I was hoping to hit one, and the other one spawned near him or something like that. And I tried to hit him, and I missed both of them, so I had to go back and clean them up. Um, anyway, a question I was thinking of is this is a lot of bits and pieces and whatnot, and um, I'm trying to keep the, the time down, but this is going to be about you know 30 minutes um, after all is said and done. I'm just trying to do a good job cleaning up the hard drive and that kind of jazz, but um, my question is, you know, with snippets and things like this, do you want to see 10, 15 minute, um, you know, lengths of videos, or is 20 minutes okay? I'm trying to keep it under 30, because after 30 it seems a little excessive, but um, this is nice. Um, you know, 30, after 30 minutes seems excessive, but for me, you know, if I'm eating lunch or something like that or hanging out or, or, uh, making dinner in between or just goofing off or whatever, um, I don't mind sitting down watching 15 minutes, you know, you get up, you go do something else or whatever, um, that's okay by me, you know, I'll watch the badge or Rival X or whatnot, so... Yeah, that was a little bit of a surprise. Coming around the corner, find three guys. Oh my God, I was oh my running God. the Dow. I haven't run it too much. I think I have 200, Here, 250 Charlie. kills or something like that. But um, that was a bit of a surprise, finding that many guys around there. Uh, a little bit more shotgun play I got a double. on this map in this <laughs> game later on. Um, so leave some comments if you want. Um, or send me a text if you guys know me. And... Um, let me know if, you know, if 30 minutes is okay and you come back to the video some other time, that's cool. Um, <clears throat> I'm just doing it for entertainment. Yeah, so there, I put the Dow and a Claymore. I got a Dow and a Claymore account at the same time. I don't know if that was...
in that stairwell or, or a different stairwell, but um, interesting. So um, I'm just having some fun with this editing and whatnot. Dude, there's five guys. I just got can you shot me through a fucking wall. What is this fucking first fucking patch? Get on Alpha. They're all over Alpha. So I'm spraying like a madman. The only good reason I shot the guy is because I had the buck sh uh, the Dow with 12 rounds and buckshot, you know, because I'm not right on those guys at all. And uh, that probably got me a bunch of the kills and at least the, you know, the hit markers on those guys. Um, so let me know if you want. The video length is fine. If you want a little shorter, something like that, and I'll, I'll do what I can uh, and try to get better at doing the snippets. And smaller, oh, I just got shot you know, inside. smaller pieces. Get there, dude? Um, but at some points in this gameplay, I'll shut up and I'll just kind of let it go. Um, there are some interesting conversations and voices that uh, you'll hear, so I thought it was quite funny. Going back and playing it. I've already got a bunch of, uh, I got a bunch of snippets I got to to go through, but, you know, I'm working on now like three, four days, and I gotta start clipping them down, so, I don't know, for me it's interesting to see what other people do, and, and the funny, funny parts and the bits, um, I don't usually have a good set of gameplay, like, uh, I just, just today, I went seven, was it eight and oh? I think eight and oh in the jet, destroyed nine vehicles, went eight and oh, um, you know, so here I went 24 and 4. Not bad, but I don't know if you want to see the whole gameplay. Um, but that's part of it, and that's the end. So, I like that. I'm working on my Dow, even though I killed people with the Dow shotgun. That's always cute. This is interesting. Um, so, you'll notice, I put out a Claymore here, and then I figured I'd put another one in another direction to make sure I get anybody coming off the spawn. So I go over here to their spawn side, and I put one over there. I'm hanging out. Tugboat and I were working together on this a bit. Look to my left. And him. This guy. I don't know where. He must have spawned on Delta. I got a hit marker in there. And he was right next to me. Didn't see me at all. And I just got lucky. But my luck, I Dude, usually, I'm the one that dies. I'm shooting the whole anyway. time. Here's a little part. I will uh, shut up. All right. You guys enjoy. There's no way you can fucking kill me with a pistol the whole time I'm shooting you in the fucking head. Objective Delta has now been taken. Use your ammo. Pick it up. I have visual on an enemy soldier south of your location. Game, what is going on here? Dude, what is going on here? You fucking piece of fucking dog shit. Fuck you, you fucking piece of shit EA. You suck a doggy dog. Here's your ammo, pick it up. Cause there's, dude, it's laggy as fuck, dude. I'm sitting here, the guys, I'm getting one shot with guns, like the AWS. One shot. Just taking objective, Charlie. Do we control Charlie or not? How about letting me over the these fucking Brazilian Oh, if I guys run, maybe one more. It's fucking almost one o'clock. God, that's so fucking frustrating. I went from 17 and 8 to 17 and 15, dude. I wasn't touching anybody. So, I think, uh... I thought that was hilarious, and then I didn't know why, just adding the, the sound effects made me laugh.
Uh, so there's a 29-11 for me. Tugboat is 23 and 17. You know, we did pretty good. We whittled them down, uh, killing them with the Dow. Uh, it's not my favorite. I just seem to have fun with it. I, maybe because I just don't give a damn uh, how I do. You know, it's kind of like one of those things. If you really care and you're trying hard and you're having difficulty, you're all pissed off. Um, if you don't give a shit, then, uh, you know, sometimes it's easier. Um, I, you know, again, I'm getting these headshots thanks to Justin. Um, you know, set it on 200 meters. I find the guys in 14x. I zoom into 40. I missed that one. I knew that was gonna miss. I'm surprised that was a headshot. Hey, you know what? Going on, dude. He's behind the truck at the first tower. And 253 meters is, you know, obviously three meters past the marksman ribbon standard. So. uh so I'm good with that. That was uh, that was fun, but uh, I've only gotten better by really pushing myself to get those marks and ribbons, and you know, with Justin's help. You're um, alpha. A lot of uh, Siege of Shanghai was a lot of work. I enjoy that one, but this map, Sunken Dragon, I don't know why, but this spawn side, I love it. Dude, this fucking goddamn hit and lag, bitches. Fuck you, you're fucking get. Oh my god, dude. I'm done. I'm done. This is fucking horseshit is what it is. Okay, I'd like to sprint now, thank you. Just, just saying. So there, I shot that guy through the two little poles there at the corner of that that base, but, <clears throat> you know, it was going well for me that day, but, uh, anyway, um, if you know Tug, Tug's frustration makes us all laugh and giggle, so, uh, I thought it was good. Anyway, here's the HVM I was talking about in one video. You shoot it, you stay locked down, aim down sight, even though he flares, your missile trails off to down those way, you stay on him, and it's not too, too long. It'll come back and get them. Those attack uh, chompers are very vulnerable to it. Uh, it seems like the little birds aren't as because your rocket's going to trail off to God knows where, but um, the flares last so long that it feels like on the little bird. So, um, little bird's not a guarantee. And the transport, I can't say for sure, but definitely the attack chopper. Do do what I did and just you know hold it down on the gun sight. Moby, are you recording this? Moby, are you recording? Yep. Let's go. Jump off. Jump off. No, I'm gonna go outside the map. Come on, come on, come on, come on. So you'll notice. We just learned through this. I might make it. To a friend of ours here, no, I'm out. to uh, I'm out. a mermaid, um, put C4, two, <laughs> two sticks, two bricks or whatever, underneath the middle of the, ch of the boat, the bike, and then put one under the back, behind the back tire. You launch it up in the air, you have to bail out at a certain point, um, but you can land on some of these nice rooftops. Now, I've only been on this rooftop in particular once before. Um, and you'll you kind of see if you're looking at the map where it is, um, or where we are. I've only been up here once before. I didn't know how the heck the guy got up here, but um, yeah, it's, the team sucked. We didn't really care, you know. We, the team wasn't doing shit. Uh, they couldn't hold a base. They couldn't kill anybody. They couldn't take a base. They weren't being aggressive. They weren't even defending a base. It was just terrible. So we just said, forget it. Um, so yeah, we're just roof camping, but, um, and I'm, I said, oh, hey, mortars would be a good, you know, douchebag thing to do. So let's pull out the mortars. So I did. Um, got a few kills with that, too. Oh, did you get that mortar? Um, so anyway, if you really want to get up here, and maybe the guys will want to try it sometime, we'll, uh, we'll all hop up here, even if we get on different buildings, it'll be wonderful, just have a sniper fest. Um... It'd be neat if it lasted longer, if the, the, the game was more evenly matched, but, uh, you know, it is what it is, so. I was sticking slammed on the tank, and you'll notice in that other, the first video on, um, tank down. So my Goldman Railway, 
Nice. See that guy? He's shooting me. I turned on him and got him. I thought that was kind of funny. Now I'm seven percent health, but anyway, um, it takes a lot of slams for a tank. Even a slams and I put three slams in an RPG on a tank, and I didn't kill it. It didn't go down. Uh, I was so pissed. It was like eighty-four percent. So there, I was gonna load it up with five or six, shoot an RPG. The dude gets out, scared the crap out of me, and I figured, well. Okay. I'm not going to switch the gun, I'll just Bravo. hit it with an RPG and maybe I'll get lucky. That's a little disappointing where an RPG can't just fly through a window. I mean, I understand bullets, you know, the bullets have to go through the window, destroy it, and then the bullets go through, okay, but, you know, an RPG, I don't know about that, guys. Anyway. Um, this building, this whole little clip was me getting in this building and, uh, from the tank, in the building, shoot myself, all that kind of jazz. I'm running low on ammo, I have low health, I'm trying to help the guys, but uh, getting clobbered. So, um, but it was kind of fun here because they started coming up here in force after me. There were three dudes that were coming up there. Let's see. I'm still at five health. He's I think I get some in my really low health here. I'm not quite sure. The... Or maybe we just trade it at the end. I gotta, I gotta run medic. Yeah, so I got one guy and the two other guys came up. I would, probably wouldn't have made it if I was 100%. So you I'll keep quiet for this one. Way, you have to go out these You'll watch. Here. Pretty sure you have to go out these doors. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a D-bag. Oh, oh, it is, yeah, awesome. sure. RPG. Hey, you have to, you have to D-bag after that. Can you mark up Delta? Delta? Okay. Huh. Hostile. Spot it. LAV or something at Delta. Somebody finished him. <laughs> oh, fuck, we got enemy west. Of Delta, west of Delta. Nice, nice. Oh, you see bagging? I can see you on the other side of the map bagging. Get the vehicle. Now, for those who know me, I don't teabag too much. Although I feel like I've been doing a little bit more teabagging these days than I ever have before, so. If I don't have a sniper rifle and he's just sitting there like that, then I'm gonna shoot him. And I you. So, Impact and I got on, finally connected again, um, very recently, early last week. And, uh,. Um, doing some damage on the enemy team here, and uh, having a good time about it. It's nice to play with Impact. Sometimes he goes in these wicked streaks. He was on an Operation Locker. I don't know if I was recording. I'll watch this. This is not good for me, but I'll show you what happens when you're just camping here like an idiot. Yep. Above me right now. Direct impact with the smoke, but right. I get my revenge. So, Zinger Knight, remember that name. Anyway, um, Impact and I were on an Operation Locker. He did something evil, like 34 and 3 or something. Just totally insane, you wouldn't believe. Um, then it was just him and I, maybe one other guy in the squad, some random or something like that, so. Anyway, on this map, I usually, you, you'll find me camping on the on the top, and uh, I do have a challenge from Broon to get a bunch of the guys up on top of the big tower here at Bravo, 
and use frag rounds on oh, shotguns now, and um, air burst. So I got to get a bunch of the guys to do that, and we'll see what kind of what we can do to the other team. Uh, so remember that in your face or your face or whatever that dude's name is. Uh, remember that name too. So I haven't gotten the guys together to do that yet. Here we go, there's Mr. Zinger. Nice kill, so impact got your face, whatever. You got a claymore, dude. This um if you got a claymore, But yeah, it's nice to play with Ampact. He goes on some nice tears um, and lights them up and uh good chats, you know, personally and things like that. So uh, he's a good guy. Um, I know he hasn't posted in a while, he talks about recording, but um I actually went back and watched one or two of my old videos. I watched three or four of his old videos again. Um, if you guys are interested, maybe I'll put a link in the description down here to some of his channel. Oh, your face is dead. Yeah, his face is dead. I don't know, that's at least three times. I think he got me once. There he is. Um, so I, you'll see my squad perks, and I got him again. You'll see my squad perks. I only have one damn claymore. If I had three, I would have been in heaven. I wouldn't have. Uh, I would have lasted much longer. Um, and I gotta got get up right here once here in a while, a little bit more. If they're not up here, there's Mr. Zinger. If they're not up here, and I cause enough of a distraction, oh uh, maybe they will come up. So uh, I'll have to try going to that building again. Yeah, so I get one shot in the legs, apparently, from the shotgun, so that, that was cool. This is a good clip. I will, uh, shut up and let you watch it. So, I'm driving, and obviously, I, I'm sure I know what your reaction would be, but mine was, I passed the guy, and I knew he was a sniper because I see the sniper rifle, I'm like, alright, he's probably not going to shoot at me, but I just drove right by the dude. There's your ammo. Go get so, it. what am I going to do? There's a dude near the bus, he went behind it, alright, maybe the C4 will get him, and it actually got him, so that was lucky. That recon just kept running, well, alright, I shot him based in the back, and the other guy was turning on me. And uh, wound up cleaning him up. So, you know, sometimes you get these little yeah, snippets of uh, flashes of brilliance. And um, it just happens to work your way, you know. And obviously, if they were very good players, I probably wouldn't be alive. The guy behind the bus was unlucky. He really couldn't do anything about it. That wasn't his, his deal. Oh, this guy just freaking. This guy just freaking. Uh. <laughs> Literally, I turn around, this guy's ready to kill me, and this guy runs him over with the quad. That's hilarious. No, no, I'm playing in the You know, it's no fault of his own, that recon, or the guy that hid behind there. I, I had guess to the recon put that one up high because but... I'm going to put left, my, left, um... left, left. Hit him. Yeah, your face is dead. <laughs> Maybe you should say his face is dead. Hit him. Or my face is dead. No, there was a tank. Oh my god, it? Moby, come pick me up. Um... So here, you can't really see it, the impact died, alright, so yeah, the guy's right in front of me, oh, throw a nade, man. probably didn't do a damn thing, get out of there quick enough. I say spawn on me, I'm not recording my voice again. Anyway, 
So I say spawn a me. I thought he had died earlier. I wasn't thinking the time frame and all that stuff. Yeah, pretty sure I'm about to die. Um, and I didn't spend enough time downstairs to get a time to spawn. So, he spawned to me on my back, and uh, he got shot, and then I got shot, so that was my bad. I actually told him to spawn on me, and everybody knows not to spawn on me. Uh, so this map, um, Shanghai, when you get in this building over here behind Charlie, on the south side of Charlie, set your sniper rifle, at least the GOL, for 200 meters, and you basically aim straight at their head, and it yeah, works like a charm. Um, this one I have it at zero, pretty much right on, but it's not that far like away. That noise? Don't. Um, yeah, I don't have a rep tool. So, All right. Yeah, unfortunately, I lured Ampac into saying, "Hey, it's safe. Spawn on me." It, and it's fine. I got active protection. He was silly enough to do it. So you know, when you do something stupid the first time, shame on you. The other person, second time, you know not to do it. Shame on me. So, I guess it's shame on impact for listening to me anyway. Unless I say, I'm not moving, I'm safe, you know, it's good, and I, I'm not moving, and I say that, then you could probably, you could probably spawn on me. Other than that, I wouldn't spawn on you. I don't know why, but it's just, it seems to be oh, death. Don't move, don't move, don't move, Somebody don't move, did it today when we were playing a little bit. I can't remember. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. So this sequence is pretty interesting. I put down some biscuits. I figure put a stinger on a chopper, I'm reloading. I got it. So, what I'm pretty sure happened, the enemy ran my jeep, he hit the mines, my jeep hit the mines, the mines blew up, my, my jeep, his jeep, blew me up and everything. So, the whole thing went to hell in a handbasket, so that was a disaster. Um, for some reason, my game capture software recorded no game sound. Right now, I'm looking at it. Because I can see when you use uh, iMovie, I can see the audio in the game. So right now it's dead silent. So all you're going to hear is my crummy voice. Um, but I wanted to stick this in there. I won't make this the last clip because it seems a little uneventful. I guess if I find some music, maybe I'll play it over it. But um, here you go in all its glory. Um, Blueberry is doing his job, shooting down there. I don't know why I threw a second nade. It was kind of probably a waste of time. I know they're coming down this way. Don't ask me what that guy was knifing at. Um, so now I'm trying to suck up enough ammo to get at least one grenade to stun them. They're were, they were over our head. I can hear them because you can see them on the mini-map, and they're going to come this way because they're dying left and right, and they know it. I'm 17 health. Now I need... Now I need band-aids. Um, I can't see squat. And you can't hear the confusion. So now I just start spraying. I get a kill assist. I kill a dude. Thank God there's some help around here. Some blueberries and whatnot. But um, I probably didn't need to throw that flashbang. See a dead body. Help those guys out a little bit. Um, it was a good little segment. You know, I'm back up to 100%. I spot somebody, I don't know what. More flashbangs. I'm shooting. I don't see anybody because you don't see anybody either, you know, but I'm shooting like crazy. Um, two kill assists. I'm at 11%. Oh, I go to pick him up and he's already alive. I hate when I do that. So thank God I'm sitting on one or two ammo crates at all times here. I'm sitting on my med bag. Um, it was. It was pretty good. That, you know, I was at seven rounds to reload. I didn't see that guy get revived or whatever it was. So, um, you know, I had a good run, in, a good run there. So, um, anyway, my last round that I posted, I think, on that one that was good, was uh, my RPG out the window there. Um, listen for the enemy. They spawn each other. You hear footsteps behind the wall here. I'll be quiet. I try not to shoot at the first guy. I broke my rule there. 
I did kind of alerted the second guy. He's gone by her boyfriend, and I did them all. And a little little bag for all you guys. Anyway, coming to the end of the video, fellas, I appreciate your time. Thanks for watching. Uh, leave me any comments. Let me know about the length of the videos and all that jazz. And uh, remember, keep your stick on the ice.